Hi, this is Cameron back again to make a video about my record collection. So now I'm doing my first video of my albums. I'll start with the letter V. It should take about three or four videos altogether because I have around 80 or so, uh, 80 or 90 albums that start with the letter V. So I'll get started. First of all, is a great double album collection called V on Virgin Records. And it features Mike Goldfield, uh, Ivor Cutler, Robert Wyatt, Tangerine Dream, Kevin Coyne, Captain Beefheart, Slap Happy, Henry Cow. So you get a, a white noise, Steve Hillage, Clear Light Symphony. So you get an idea that it's a fantastic collection. This came out in 1975. It's got a gatefold. Showing what cuts are on it. So that's V for Virgin Records. Next up, I have a Czech band, which I was hoping was a Czech jazz band, but it turns out it's more like a Numpa uh, brass band called uh, Velda Finca on Superphone label, which is a big Czech label. That came out in 1971. Then a uh, retrospective collection of the Vagrants, the Great Lost album. This features Leslie West, later of Mountain. Came out in 1987. I remember picking this up the same time I picked up the newest uh, Flaming Groovies and the newest uh, Ten Years After album, 1987. Then a great Mexican-American band, they call it the first uh, first large, big label uh, Chicano movement, I call it Mexican-American, but uh, Daniel Valdez Mestizo, this came out in Then Miguelito Valdez and Tito Guisar, Los Iniguables. So some Cuban music from the 60s. Cuban influence music. I'm not sure if this was based in Cuba or based somewhere in the States. Then a folk. Artist out of Canada, Valdi, known for rock and roll song. This is called Family Gathering, and it came out in 1971. It actually has his famous song called Rock and Roll Song, where he gets booed as a folk artist because uh, everybody's there for the rock artist at a rock concert. The next up is. Um, Balladeer, Jerry Vale, Till, which came out in 1969. Another Jerry Vale album, also from the 60s, called Be My Love. So I got these because they were in clear plastic, still with their plastic wrap, in very good shape. Next up, Caterina Valdez. This is still sealed. Uh, or not Caterina Valdez. Caterina Balente. So Balente and violins. And she's an Italian artist. This came out uh, probably in the 70s. Still sealed. So let's give it a listen one day. Now this is this was a great find for five dollars at a record show, uh, the Dino Valenti album, which came out I believe in 1968. 
Still has the sticker from the record room, which is where it was sold in Winnipeg at the time. Now, a uh, Canadian folk artist called Gilles Valencourt Tukur Tukur. So this is a, a francophone uh, folk album. Probably out of Quebec. This came out in uh, 1975. Then out of Brazil from 1966, Brazilians, uh, it's Mark uh, Valle and his music. I know he does some samba and uh, some other Brazilian beats. Now I picked these other these next three three or four albums up in the Dominican Republic while living there. Famous famous merengue artists Cuca Boloi and Su Tribu. This album is called Los Titanes de la Tribu. This came out probably in the seventies. Cuca Boloi Cuca Boloi was uh, the father of uh, another famous merengue artist Ramon Orlando. Next up, another Cuckoo Baloy, El, um, El Gordito de Oro, no, El Cordito de Oro, in Suavecito. Next Cuckoo Baloy is su Nueva Tribu. Uh, it's called Con Sabor del Tropico. And finally, Cucuboloi y los virtuosos sin comentarios. So, merengue artist from the Dominican Republic. Very famous. There. Okay, next up some prog rock from UK. Vandergraaf Generator God, uh, God Bluff from 1975, I believe. I have a number of Peter Hamill solo albums, but I only have two uh, Van der Graaff generators. So the other one I have is um, Pleasure Dome and Quiet Zone, I believe 1976. Let me just check. Um, 75 and 77. So, so Quiet Zone was from 77. Then out of Canada, rock artist with a hit Black Cars, Gino Vanelli. This came out in the 80s. In. Um, let me just see. 1985. That's an overplayed song on our radio, on our local radio. Now from Aphrodite's Child, Vangelis, uh, with a soundtrack to L'Apocalypse La des Animaux. This came out in 1973, originally. Now I have a few reissues of Vanilla Fudge from the 80s. Uh, so their first album, which came out in 67, is self-titled Vanilla Fudge. Do you keep me hanging on? Their version. 
on add go. Uh, Renaissance. Which originally came out, I believe, in 1969. Let me just see. Uh, or 68. I don't have the beat goes on, but I do have near the beginning, which came out in 69 originally. This is a reissue. All of my vanilla fudges are re are are uh, reissues from the 80s. Then a folk artist from the States. I saw him live at our folk fest. Dave Van Ronk. Somebody else, not me, with the deep, gruffy voice. That came out in 1980. And finally, a U.S. singer-songwriter. It came out in 1980 as well. Randy Van Warmer, Terraform. It's got a great gatefold. So that's it for my first video of my albums. I start with the letter V. I've got two or three more coming up, so please leave your comment at the bottom, and I look forward to hearing from you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.